Hey there, YouTube. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Um, got a little bit of a happier note, hopefully. Uh, been a lot of stuff going on over something I've said that split my whole friendship, family thing apart. But there was something that, uh, particularly one of my sisters in Christ, um, has been stressing over a bit. And it's the, sorry, I'm looking down at my little tablet or pamphlet. Um, it's the fact that she's worried about the rapture being what happens if she as a believer gets raptured and her kids are left behind. She's worried about that. Well, all I can say, it does not say. The rapture is uh, um, already controversial enough in of itself because it's a taking away, a taking up or something. A snatching away, I think is the words. Uh, and so some people say it is, it isn't, it's pre-trib, it's mid-trib, it's post-trib. So it's all over the place with the rapture. Um, but what the rapture is, is for anybody that isn't, doesn't know, it's... Um, the taking away, the taking up of the church, the believers in Jesus Christ, before God's wrath is poured out. Um, and so, yeah, it's easy to get distracted in Revelation. Um, but anyway, she's worried that if she gets raptured, because a lot of people think rapture is close, so she's worried if she gets raptured that her children will be left behind. And right away, the Lord showed me a verse. He does that. He's really good that way. Um, need my glasses. It was... Oh, the page before. First Corinthians, chapter 7, verse 14. For the unbelieving husband is sanctified by the wife, and the unbelieving wife by the husband. That means if you're a believer, your spouse, if they're a non-believer, is sanctified. And I'll Google the exact word for sanctified. It's kind of covered. I don't know. I think they're saved if they follow. I, I'm not, I'll have to look. Okay. Uh, Sanctified by the wife and the wife, or the wife by the husband, else your children be unclean, right? Because he, if you're a believer and you're unbelieving spouse and you have a child, then your child would be considered unclean. But to cover that option, God says he'll sanctify your husband or your wife. They'll sanctify the unbelieving spouse so that, and these are the words that are in Scripture, else your children be unclean, but now they are holy. Holy. Hmm. And you see, if you look in Strong's, holy is a saint, and the saint is going to heaven. So if you're a believer, your children are considered holy in God's eyes. That's just what the Bible says. You want to read it yourself? It's in 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 14. Now, I was just watching something else. Uh, it was actually about the rapture and children. Of believers and he's like well it doesn't actually say that all believers in Christ and their children will be in a moment but here it says your children are considered holy if you're considered holy by God I'm just guesstimating but he'd probably remove you for this rapture period or for the 
tribulation period, right? In the rapture with your mother or father. Now, he said, but... And just give me one second, I need to let my cat in. on YouTube. Yeah. Shh. Okay, so he was saying that um, he doesn't think like he's saying, okay, well, your your children up to a point, you know, don't. My cat's trying to knock it off. Um, he said up to a point, you know, because then they would probably become adults. And then they're not, what, your children? They're still your children. We're his children. Doesn't matter how old we are. Shut up, okay. Because I'm making a video. You're being rude. Come on. Come up here. There you go. So, say hi to Bella. So, he says, you know, probably not the older children or something. I, which to me, your children are your children. It says here, your children are holy. So I suppose, you know, those children at some point could be led astray. And I don't know. I don't know. But I guess we're talking about the rapture time, right? Right? So at that point, I wanted to add, Noah's family was saved too. His children were saved too, right? God took them through the tribulation period, but kept them safe. Hmm. So if you have to go through the tribulation period, like some Jew peoples and others will go through, God will keep you safe. That's what it's kind of implying. All were saved, the whole family. But the whole point was his children weren't little kids. They were men with wives. And they were grown men with wives. And their wives were saved. Sanctified, you could almost say, by the believing son. Because I'm pretty sure that after 120 years of building that boat, they were believing in God, right? So, Lot's family was also saved. Not that unbelieving wife. She wouldn't believe. She had to turn around and look. Oh, well, a pillar of salt for that one. So, we might not always be able to save our unbelieving spouse, but your children are holy in God's word. Not my word, God's word. 1 Corinthians 7, 14. Read it. Read it. Rest your heart. And then there's Luke eleven thirteen, And I don't have it wrote down because I ran out of paper. But it's the one where God says, you know, like, you're an evil people, and even you would give your kids good gifts. Can you imagine what kind of gifts I would give my children? Now, do you think he's going to make his children's children burn in tribulation period? Or do you think he might let you bring your kids? It's God. Come on, guys. Think about it. Think about it. But it's right there in the book. I hope that helps you guys a little bit. I, well, sure help me, I'll tell you. Um, and I know it helped that sister of mine too. So hopefully this helps you a little bit. I love you all.